it's shameful, it's despicable. We're here at Land Forces today because, you know, we are trying to build an anti-war, anti-military movement. We're here to protest arms and the dealing of arms here in Nam. Um, we've come all the way from Yorta Yorta country um, for a week of disruption to let the world know that we will not support the buying and selling of any type of weaponry that harms civilians or any living being. We're trying to protest warmongers and profiteers who are all at the convention centre right now um, making deals um, and essentially, you know, bringing to them a menagerie of arms that are used not just in Gaza right now, but have been used all around the world and likely will be used in genocides and by oppressive regimes all around the world. I'm here today as a healthcare worker who is utterly, utterly, absolutely devastated with what's happening over in Gaza. And I am here protesting the Land Forces Expo, which is a huge military organization that has, yeah, is bringing weapons into our town and doing trade deals uh, with our governments. And I just find it absolutely disgusting. Well, we're here to protest this Sunday market of death. I know it's so concerning that in Nam today, in 2024, with the cost of living crisis, with just how poorly people are faring in this economy today, that we can create a space, a facility, whilst a live digital genocide is going on in Palestine, for profiteers of death, for Israeli companies to be here, American companies, British companies, those companies that have are making profits, paying dividends to shareholders from the misery and death of innocents, wherever they may be, whether it's Congo or Sudan, Western Sahara, Palestine, but all over the colonised world. Our government is sponsoring genocide. This is not a police state! We have the right to demonstrate! This is not a police state! We have the right to demonstrate! This is not a police state! We have the right to demonstrate! Police reaction today is utterly grotesque. We have a right to protest on the streets. Uh, we came here peacefully and the cops have brought in tear gas. They've been pepper spraying. They're shooting rubber bullets. It's unbelievable. I've treated people with pepper spray um, injuries and it's just absolutely terrifying that they've come in with such full force. The police reaction has been severe um, and it has also been a complete overreaction, you know, in response to chants, some marching, you know, um, flag waving, there have been pepper spray, there have been large bangs, I'm not quite sure what caused them, I've heard flash bangs, they have shot, um, they've shot hacky sack rounds, I think they may have shot rubber bullets, they've kettled people with horses, um, they've bashed and dragged people, um, it has been a complete overreaction, although, I mean, it's probably to be expected when you um, when you do contemplate the connection between the police, um, other armed forces, paramilitaries and you know militaries around the world and what is going on at um, land forces right now. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Look, I've never seen police like this before. This is uh, a level of intimidation. I mean, th these guys look equipped to take Normandy and, and it's, it in, impacts peaceful demonstrators because it elevates the tension, elevates the heat in a movement that otherwise would be peaceful. You know, it's provocative, it's inflammatory and unnecessary. And, uh, you know, but I think emblematic of what, what's increasingly happening in the West. You know, we're becoming these police states where, where each commodity is fed into a machine and, you know, our usefulness is dictated by... Um, our ability to, to, to participate in that, in that machine. You know, Land Forces, we're going to be disrupting it all week. Um, so if you're watching this, please get down. But also, you know, <clears throat> what today demonstrates is that we need to build an anti-military movement, an anti-war movement. We need to demilitarize our society at large. Look at, look at the expenditure that has gone into protecting these profiteers of wars. Um, capital is clearly invested in this. So not just disrupt land forces, there needs to <coughs> be a disrupt war movement more broadly. Sorry, I'm inhaling smoke. I mean, it just sickens me. I can't believe that, you know, a day ago, Israel dropped, you know, a Volkswagen, a 2,000 pound bomb onto a tent city on a beach in a safe area. And that same company is here. Same company is here that, you know, our, our Prime Minister, our 
Premier has facilitated this space. It's just shameful, shocking and look really hurtful. I, I, I'm lost for words.